I've had to walk up towards the lake because it is a lot further up the road, but there's a lot of people here today. There's an absolute ton of people. It's not surprising. It's a Saturday afternoon, so you've got to expect that. Hopefully, I'll be able to park the car a bit further up, and then I don't have to transport all my gear up to the up to the lake there. As I was walking up the road, there's a dike along either side of the road with like a little beck running through it, and a stoat actually ran out onto the road. It's the first time I've seen a stoat here in Canada. There is actually a nature conservation area further up because there's a lot of marshland next to the lake. So maybe a chance that we'll get to see some wildlife. But for now, I'm just gonna have to sit it out. Get out of the car because it's red hot in the car. Just have a general walk about till later on. I think there's a, a good chance of a picture there. There's some nice landscape. Later in the day now, it's half past six, so the light's starting to drop, it's much better. So I'm going to head up towards the lake to the platform that I found today, where I'm going to take tonight's photos. So I'm just hoping that we get a sunset. So we'll have a walk up here, I think it's about a 10, 15 minute walk, and then we'll get set up, and I'll show you the compositions that I'm thinking of tonight. <laughs> platform I'm all set up I've got the composition that I wanted I've dropped in a graduated filter for the sky because the sky is still bright everything else is in shade but it doesn't matter it should still work as a shot f10 100 ISO I'm going to head down from the platform. I've seen another composition further down, close to the water for sunset. So I'm going to head down there and try that out. I think I'm going to be doing a long exposure shot close to the lake. So I've took the graduated filter out now and I thought we'll try a bit of an experiment. There isn't a lot of movement in the water, so I've dropped in the six stop. That's given us an eight second exposure at F10, 100 ISO. Well today I've decided to come to a place called Golden Eagles Park. It wasn't a long drive, I think it took us about an hour from Vancouver. I can't remember what the lake's called but I'll put it on the screen above. But I like the way these rocks in the foreground are leading your eye towards the mountains there. It is very windy today. I've actually decided to use the 10 stop today, I'm going to try the 10 stop out. I've also got the sun to my right hand side so that's going to help the polarizer out a lot. Polarizer always works but when it's either to your left or your right. It's going to cut through some of the hairs on the mountains there and bring out a bit more detail. Bye. 
Well, I left Golden Ears Park, had a really good look about up there, and I found a nice photo. I'm definitely going to go back for sunset or a sunrise. So, I've just been into Maple Ridge for something to eat, and I thought, you know what, it's close to Pit Lake where I was the other day, so I came to Pit Lake. And as I was driving up the road there, I seen the stoat again on the side of the road, so I thought I'll get the long lens out and see if I can get a photo. Uh, but I never seen it. it, it ran off. But I've came to a place where I parked up on the side of the road and I think I've found a good shot for a landscape shot. It looks pretty neat. Uh, it's a great day. Nice bit of cloud in the sky and just enough sunshine. So it's a bit of a gem really. Uh, lucky that I pulled over uh, because I think this will make a nice shot so I'll be able to show you in a minute. I've got the polarizer on. The lens I'm using today is 17 to 40. Uh, but I've got the polarizer on. I've also got an ND soft grad in. And we're going to try out this shot. That is giving me on F10 the 50th of a second ISO 100. So we're going to try this shot out. I might even try out a panoramic, see how that works out because it's so vast. It's worthwhile doing a panoramic, I think. So I've decided to go for the panoramic. I think it's going to be about a series of three or four shots. So I'm going to get this shot done and then head back to the car and then drive on to somewhere else. But a pretty nice view here. Eh? Found another picture. Great composition here of a little pond leading over into the mountains. Definitely worthy of a shot. But I've had a really good day today. Get packed up, get this shot in the bag, and we'll see what tomorrow brings. <laughs>